Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with a recap of the new Apple event. So they announced quite a few new things, including a new iPhone, new iPod Touch, as well as a new iPod Nano. To start with, let's talk about the new iPhone, the iPhone 5. And yes, it actually is called the iPhone 5, even though this is the sixth iPhone, Apple math. The biggest story here is that the leaks were spot on. So you're going to find a 4-inch display with a resolution of 1136 by 640 you're going to find support for LTE, as well as a new Apple A6 processor. The design is pretty solid, so overall it looks fairly similar to the iPhone 4 and 4S. However, of course, with that wider screen, it's going to be a little bit taller. Up front, you're also going to find a new FaceTime HD camera, which is finally HD. And around back, you're going to find a new 8 megapixel camera. It still shoots 1080p video, it's still mostly the same, however, they've added a few new features, including a panorama mode. The rear of the phone is no longer a single sheet of glass. Instead, you're going to find a large bit of aluminum with two glass windows on the top and bottom. Now flipping it over to the side, you'll see this is a very thin iPhone, coming in at only 7.6 millimeters thick. The 30 pin dot connector has been removed from the new iPhone and iPods. Instead, there's a new 8 pin connector called Lightning. Get it? Thunderbolt? Lightning? Apple is so clever. The iPhone 5 will be available for pre-order starting on September 14th, and it will be shipping one week later on September 21st. Now it does come in both black and white, and just like the iPhone 4S, you can get it in 16, 32, or 64 gigabytes of capacity for $199, $299, or $399. Moving right along, we have a brand new iPod Touch 5th generation. Now this gets several improvements from the new iPhone 5, including a bigger 4 inch display. They've also revamped the design of the new iPod Touch. So if you guys have ever owned an iPod Touch, you'll know that you pull it out of the box, you take one blink at the polished aluminum, and immediately it's filled with scratches. Another awesome addition to the iPod Touch is a decent camera. Yeah, an actual usable camera on an iPod Touch. So this is the same unit out of the iPad 3. It has 5 megapixels, and it also is paired with an LED flash. So that means you'll be able to record 1080p video, and of course those 5 megapixel stills. Internally, you'll be able to get the new iPod Touch with an Apple A5 dual-core processor, which is the same thing that you will find on the iPad 2 as well as the iPhone 4S. The new iPod Touch also finally has Siri, which is definitely a big thumbs up. And on top of that, it does come in 32 and 64 gigabytes of capacity. On top of all of that, you can also now get the iPod Touch in five colors, including red, white, black, yellow, and I'm forgetting one, but I'll, I'll put it up on screen. Last but not least, or actually it is least, we have the iPod Nano. Now again, it's got a totally new redesign, and it actually does have a home button now. If you take a look at the new iPod Nano, you'll tell that the design is interesting. Uh, it does have a 2.5 inch touchscreen, as well as of course some iOS-like icons that are weirdly round for some reason. It does have a few new features, such as Bluetooth as well as video playback. However, I, I don't know, I'm a little on the fence on it. If you are interested in picking one up though, it does have several colors, and it does come in 16 gigabytes of storage. As far as pricing goes, it gets a little complicated. So the iPod Nano is pretty straightforward. You can pick any color you like. It comes in only 16 gigabytes of storage. It will cost you $150 and ships in October. So we don't have an exact date on either of the new iPods, but it will be shipping in October. The iPod touches get a little tricky. So the fourth generation model is going to stick around alongside the fifth gen. So for $200, you can get a 16 gigabyte fourth generation model. For $250, you can get a 32 gigabyte fourth generation model. However, if you want a fifth generation iPod with all the new cameras and all the kind of fancy stuff, that's going to run you $299 and it only comes in 32 gigabytes, or you can upgrade that to 64 gigabytes for $399. I know, I told you it was complicated. I'm very curious to know, what do you guys think about the new announcements? And I'm sure you're going to have opinions, you guys always do. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, the new iPhone looks exactly what I expected. I was really kind of surprised at the lack of surprises. I mean, everything was like, there was not one single thing that I was like, oh, I did not know that. Uh, but all that said, it still does look pretty solid, and I will be definitely picking one up and doing some videos on it in a week or week and three days or whenever it comes out. As far as the new iPod Touch goes, big thumbs up all around. Um, there's a few little weird things, like there's a lanyard, so if you don't want to drop your iPod Touch, you can attach a lanyard, don't ask. Uh, but overall though, it does look really solid, and the iPod Nano, well, I, I don't know. <laughs> Anyway guys, if you enjoyed, definitely be sure to leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're interested in more videos on these products and more, be sure to subscribe.